Today we are going to be talking about, well, one of the most fundamental aspects of playing the cello, one you will learn very, very early on, and of course that is how to hold the bow correctly and how to create a really um, healthy, natural bow hold absolutely from scratch and uh, what we need to watch out for in the process. So I'm going to be taking you through the whole process that I would be going through with my students when they first learn how to hold the bow today. You can first of all see on my bow here that the bit where the heel connects to the stick here is covered with a little bit of rubber tubing and that is something which I really highly highly recommend. I personally do that for two reasons. One, because it makes it more comfortable to hold but also to to protect the bow here so the wood doesn't wear out. I personally use a little bit of um, rubber tubing here but the other things you can use is um, a pencil grip for instance or um, if nothing else uh, works you can also put just a little rubber band around it just it helps to give it a little bit more traction at the beginning right so we want to start with our right hand really really nice and floppy yeah let's take a look what our hand looks like in a completely neutral state you see the fingers aren't like that they're not like that either they're just sort of naturally curved like that yeah we want to maintain as much of that as possible when we pick up the bow we want a completely natural hand shape so this is really the first thing we need to learn to completely relax our hand and that can actually be quite quite difficult for many people so I have my students starting out like that and I always say imagine you are holding something very delicate and precious I don't know a little baby chick or a kitten or something like that yeah so you don't want to be doing that you just want to hold your hand very very naturally like that okay and then we identify our first contact point in our hand for the bow which is that you see I put a little mark here the middle joint the middle knuckle here of my middle finger now if you look at your bow you see this bit where the heel ends and the stick continues so there's this little dip here yeah so that's roughly the point you want to find and now I'm turning my bow upside down and this bit here is what I place on this point which I've marked up before See, very gently. Now, what should not be happening, and this is really important, that as the bow approaches, that you start to grab, that you hold on in any way. All my students know that if they do that, I take the bow away again. So the bow will only come to your hand if the hand doesn't react. If it grabs, we take the bow away again. Yeah, so we don't react at all. We just place it the fingers are still very 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 soft here so the next step is we curve our thumb a little bit like that and now we find this point here again this little cozy corner here where the heel connects where the heel connects to the stick and now you can see my second contact point and that is the top right corner here of my thumb. Yeah, so now I've been playing for such a long time and so much that there's already a little sort of preformed dent in here and quite a bit of callus, but it's important to identify that point. So you look at your you look at your nail and you look at the top right corner and that's where you want to place that's a connecting point between your thumb and the bow so very important the fleshy bit here the main fleshy bit of the thumb has got no actual contact with the bow that is very very important so by that point it will look like that from the front 
and it will look like that from the other side yeah so you can you can see that now we are not all we are doing here with the thumbs we are closing the space you see we have got this sort of shape now very much the same as if you were going to pick up let's say a mug or a glass now look at that look at the other side again you see very very similar you are not squeezing when you pick up a glass or a mug you wouldn't even think about you know squeezing that glass or that mug you just don't instinctively you don't you see so do we just what do we do we just close the space so we don't drop it and that should be exactly what's happening with the bow as well so we've got that and that you see and my fingers have very very light contact with the bow only so they're not they're not gripping they're not pressing into the bow so all you have got is that and it should look it should look like that yeah okay now of course as soon as you put that on a string as soon as you start playing it that lovely shape will melt into all sorts of contortions over and over and over and that is normal that is part of the process yeah until it looks that easy it takes time i always show my students a very simple experiment and that is if i do everything with my left hand which hasn't done this for over 20 years you see and it looks looks similar but it looks already quite a bit more uncomfortable yeah so i'm still the same person with the same knowledge but this hand here hasn't done it for as long so be patient with yourself that's really important yeah the most important thing is that the melting is not the problem what's important is that every time it does melt you start the whole process from scratch open the hand find the point align the bow curve the thumb close the space turn it around that might mean that when you first start out in a single practice session you might be doing that 20 30 times great the more often you do it the better and you will notice that as you go along the intervals at which you have to do it gradually become longer but the most important thing is as soon as it melts restore it to that don't lose patience with that yeah so you don't want to get into a habit of playing like that or like that or whatever always restore it to that as ever, if you have any questions about that, uh, please post them in the comments below. And um, I hope this was helpful. And if you like these videos, then um, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are lots more videos coming pretty much every day now. And uh, I'd be really happy to see you again soon.